The long weekend is coming, and obviously ATVing is a popular choice for Ontario's outdoor enthusiasts. Uh, And as we head into the first long weekend of the season, many people are going to be taking to the trails. But before they do, riders should be aware of the risks involved. And with that in mind, we have talked to PIA Law, comprised of three of the top personal injury law firms in Canada, Cleish Orlando, Oatley Vigmont, and Thompson Rogers. And we have Wendy Moore Mandel on the line. Her practice is exclusively personal injury and medical malpractice cases acting on behalf of the seriously injured people and their families. Uh, Wendy, thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you, Rick. Uh, Now, there are some questions. Obviously, uh, how significant is the risk of serious injury from ATV? Well, ATVs are mainly used for recreational purposes. The majority of the injuries that arise from those accidents are quite severe, things like broken bones, traumatic brain injuries, and spinal cord damage that can cause paralysis. Wow. On average, more than 15 people are seen in Ontario emergency departments every day for ATV injuries, and sadly, these injuries are happening most often to young people between the age of 10 and 24. Uh, Wendy, I have more questions, uh, but let's take a quick break, and then we'll be back with more from PIA Law's Wendy Moore Mandel on 93.5 The Moose. All right, we're back talking about uh, ATV safety and risk with PIA Law Representative Wendy Moore Mandel. So, Wendy, should an ATV be insured? Well, Rick, just like a car, it's against the law to drive an ATV without insurance. So you must insure your ATV even if you never drive it off your property. Insurance provides you with protection in the event that you cause injury to someone or if someone is injured while riding your ATV. And it can also provide you with important medical coverage and income protection in the event that you are injured in an ATV accident. Okay, so if the worst case scenario plays out and someone suffers a serious injury as a result of an ATV accident, what are their rights? Well, most people who are involved in an ATV crash are unsure of their rights. Uh, Many people think there's really nothing that can be done to help because it's not a car and the crash is often not on a typical road, and that is absolutely incorrect. When someone is seriously hurt in an ATV accident, they and their family can claim benefits from their own ATV insurer, regardless of how the accident happened or who is at fault, and they may also have a claim against someone who caused the accident. But there are time limits when it comes to taking legal action, and there are insurance forms and medical reports and records that have to be prepared and submitted, and the process is quite complex. So it's important to have a qualified personal injury lawyer help you out, and it's really important that you check the lawyer's credentials. Good advice. Uh, Wendy Moore Mandel, PIA Law. You can find out more information about Wendy and PIA by visiting www.pialaw.com. Wendy, uh, have a great long weekend. Thanks, Rick. You too.